Hey everybody, welcome uh, to wherever you wherever you're watching this live stream. It might be the Pro Prosperous Photographer Facebook group, or it might be Home Sun Photography Props Facebook page, but or you might be watching the replay on YouTube. YouTube, and if you are watching on YouTube, do me a favor: um, subscribe to the channel, give Chelsea a big thumbs up for sharing her time and her talent with us here today. Click that thumbs up button and leave a comment with questions. Uh, in the comments below, let me know what other videos do you want to see? Marketing, posing, lighting, editing. Drop them in the comments. Encourage me, please, to record more of these. And um, But yes, make sure you follow us and you'll see more of this. So today I'm with Chelsea Fox, and she is an award-winning photographer, newborn and maternity over in London. And I'm going to share my screen so that you can see her beautiful work instead of my face. So give me just a minute here. Okay, guys, there we go. Okay, so this is uh, this is Chelsea's website, and I have shared a link to her website in the comments of this chat. So you can uh, go check her out. Her work is incredible. She has only been doing newborn photography for two years, but she has like fast tracked her learning and her skills. And now and she's won multiple awards and she now teaches other photographers through workshops and mentoring. She teaches posing, lighting, editing. So um, wherever you are in the world, take a minute to check out Chelsea's website and her work and see if maybe um, she could teach you a thing or two. I'm sure she could teach me a thing or two. So. Uh, I saw Chelsea on a Facebook group today, just this morning, like I saw her post something about what she was doing with AI and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's incredible. I need to share that in the group. And so um, I Facebook messaged her like, I don't know, like four hours ago, maybe I'm like, we got to share this. And she's like, okay, what are we doing? I'm like, hey, what are you doing this afternoon? So it's like eight o'clock at night where she is, but it's three o'clock in the afternoon where I am here in Indianapolis. And uh, anyway, she was game to do it and I'm so happy. So I'm going to come back and uh, take this off the screen here. And sorry, I'm, I'm new to StreamYard a little bit. So, okay, we can see both of us still. So Chelsea, tell me a little bit, um, tell me just a little bit about how you got into this business before we get started with the editing, okay? Um, so I got into it because I was pregnant with my daughter at the time um, and it was something I always wanted to do. It was the only thing I ever passed in school, so, I just thought as I was on going on to maternity, it was my opportunity to take example of the advantage, sorry, of the fact that I had a newborn baby at home as well. Right. So I just all my training was there. That is awesome. Well, I am I'm not gonna make people wait around. We're gonna jump right in and I want you to go ahead and present your screen and then just teach us mm -hmm. your magic. Show show us first if you would start with showing us some of the things, some of the pictures that you've taken and, and that you've edited with AI and then just tell us what we need to know. And people, if you wanna drop your questions along the way, if you wanna drop your questions in the chat, I will keep an eye on that and I will ask Chelsea as she is presenting, okay? Yeah, that's perfect. So, I think one of the ones I've done today, um, I'll start off this is... One moment. There we go, okay. You are presenting now, Chelsea. Uh, now, is this your original image? Yeah, so this is the original. Um, mm -hmm. so it's taken and just put through Photoshop. And I'll just quickly have a look and find the ones that I've done today. Do you want me to share some of the ones you sent to me? Um, yes, please, if you don't okay. mind. I'm sorry, I, I put you on the spot a little bit here. Let me just show you a few that she shared with me. Um, now, let me see. Hang on a minute here. Okay, so I'm just going to pull up. Hmm. This is a little bit tricky because StreamYard makes you. I don't think you guys can see my screen right now. So let me go back. To, ah. Sorry, guys. I'm still dinking around with StreamYard. Let me. I don't know how to do it. Just start showing us how to do it. Just share your, I, I, I've got to switch screens and all this and it's, it's too much work for me to try to figure it out. So 
go ahead and I'm going to have you present again and just jump right into Photoshop. Okay. Open your Photoshop and share that screen. And let's just dig right into how you're doing this. Guys, if you have questions, just drop them right into the chat box and I will keep an eye on the, on that. And I'll keep an eye on, eye on things. Yeah, no, that's perfect. So the original one that I shown earlier was this one. Perfect. So the whole process and the way that they've done it makes it quite simple to do. Mm -hmm. um, especially compared to all the other AI tools that I've tried, such as Mid Journey. Um, this one does seem to be the easiest to do, mainly because it kind of does the work for you when you're able to select the subject. So what I'd usually start off doing, I'd pull the photo in uh, Photoshop. At the moment, I do have to mention as well, it is beta. So it just means that it's due, it's going through a trial phase at the moment. So you can't use any photos that you create on here commercially at the moment. Yeah. Um, while it's going through the trial phase, but obviously it's fun to be able to practice, learn, because from what I was reading and through Adobe is that by the second half of 2023, this will be released into Photoshop and can, will be able to be used commercially. Um, so as on the day, I'm not too sure yet, but that should be coming around real soon. Mm -hmm. so I'll go into the first Jill, thing. I'm, I'm going to stop you for a minute. So yeah. Tell me, you're using Photoshop to do this. Is that correct? And is it a special version? Can you tell me exactly what you're using for this? Um, so it's called Photoshop um, Beta. So what you'll do is in your Adobe Creative Cloud. I'm typing this in. Go to Adobe Creative Cloud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in your Adobe Creative Cloud, um, it will be another app in there called Photoshop, but in brackets. Towards the side of it, it will have beta written next to it. And um, beta. Photoshop beta version. Mm -hmm. um, and then, or if you can't find it on that bit, it might be down the side where it says beta as well. Um, obviously, my accent says it differently, but it might, it'll be down the side um, in there. And then you can just download that and install that. Okay, perfect. All right, go ahead and show us, go ahead and show us what you're doing. Yeah, so I'll just pull the photo straight into um, Photoshop and then I'll go straight into this button here where I'll select subject. So that should normally do that bit of work for you. And then what I'll usually do then is select this little button here, which then inverts the image for you. So it means that it selects the outside of this bit as opposed to the inside. Click generative fill and then say you were wanting a wood floor you type in the simplest type in wood floor sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so it's just about generating them until you find something you like it will come up with different options at the side mm -hmm. so there i just type generate so now it's just loading and it'll bring up the suggestions what they think so here we get different wood floors so for me personally the last one i quite like um but i'm not a huge fan of it so i'll just click generate again it'll take you through another generating pro process of wood floors to search for some more so i it's kind of small right now but so i didn't see did you actually type in the words wood floor to find this wood floor that, that's exactly what i typed i just typed okay. wood um, the prompts don't have to be huge descriptive prompts and um, simple prompts work just as effective um, to get what you're sort of looking for. I think if you try and make it too complicated, sometimes right. um, the AI, AI can get a little bit lost off. Sure. Um, so, for example, I'll type in another one, which will be... Um, so what are you changing on the text right now i, I just think i double typed that was all so i'm just correcting my spelling i see you think that will give you some different results yeah so then i'll just click generate and then see how that comes up and then if floral doesn't work i'll then type in 
flower. I get you. Oh, just different prompts. So I'll just see what comes up for this one. Yeah, so not much has come up with this one. So I'll, I'll type in. Flower, new bomb photography backdrop, see what that one brings up. So you, the thing is with AI as well is you never know what you're going to get. So it's all about trial and error. We'll just see. And then if this one doesn't work next, then I'll change the prompt. Okay. Um, well, you can take out the newborn photography backdrop. So you had a, you had a, oh, that's, okay. There you go. There's a little texture in there. And what did you just change that to? What are you changing? Tell us what you're changing next to, because it's too small for my eyes to see. So just if you would read along. Um, so now I'm just changing it to floral. Floral. Uh, yeah. And then just seeing what that pulls up. Sure. You had that one that you did this morning that had that pretty blue floral background. Yeah. Well, I got that. I'm doing that disturbed. Well, there you got some flowers. Okay. I'm just typing there floral backdrop. Let's see if that makes it so mm -hmm. it blends in a bit more. Because for me, they just stand out a bit too much. So right, they're 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 a, they're a bit big. Right. What if you yeah. put in floral fabric? We'll generate this and see what. It's mostly all about just trying in different things, seeing what the floral fabric that that brings you up a nice yellow one. You get like a nice blue one. Mm -hmm. Um so out of there I've got that. So is it yeah. just saving all of your earlier versions in there so that you can go back and get them? Yeah. It is, yeah. So you've got them all down the side here. Okay, so you didn't lose anything. No, you don't lose anything when you're regenerating it. It just means that you can do it as many times as you want in order to be able to find the one that you're sort of looking for. Do me a favor, Chelsea. Somebody just dropped a comment that says, uh, she said, I typed lavender and it gave me a beautiful backdrop. So why don't you type in the lavender and we'll see. And I know someone's, yeah, okay. Uh, on the person who said how uh, asking the questions because you missed the beginning, you'll have to go back and if you could watch the uh, replay. Um, oh, that has some actual lavender, lavender. So the thing is as well, because sometimes it can, if I regenerate it again, uh -huh. it might come up something completely different. So you're not you're not typing in new words. You're just hitting the return, like you're hitting a refresh or a return on the same word, and it's going to give you different results. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah. So it can it can give off um quite a nice. What happens if you put in lavender floral fabric? I'm just curious. I feel like it's just the fun of being able to play around with it, try it, test it. Uh huh. And it gives you the ability as well to get a new setup every time. So that that's the one where it says lavender floral fabric. Got it. So I'll go out of this one. So again, all of these have, if I wanted to save any that I liked on this, I just go to file export. Uh-huh, save it. 
can say a bit, yeah. And refresh my memory. Um, when you, so, or you may have already said this, but at the beginning, you just you just downloaded the uh, beta, the Photoshop beta, and you just open it up and started doing it. You didn't have to do anything else other than download it, open it, open your picture, and then you didn't you didn't have to do anything that you haven't shown us yet. Is that right? That's that's right. It was okay, perfect. So yes, perfect. and someone asked, have you been able to use the same backdrop for multiple images? Um, so I haven't. So what usually happens is it regenerates to a different one every time. Oh, so that if you like, like you had a beautiful blue floral fabric on one of the pictures that I posted this morning in the group. And I thought, oh, I love that fabric so much. So you really have no way of saying, OK, use that blue floral fat. So it's just like a, you're rolling the dice to see what comes up. Is that true? That's right. Yeah. So you can try and use the same prompt that you used to get that one. Uh huh. Um, but it might not come up the same thing again. Gotcha. So uh, I think the the idea is it, of it is being able to get like new setups every time as well, um, and people you can get parents to give ideas on what they kind of like, what they dislike, uh -huh. if they like flowers, if they like the flowers, and what their kind of style is, and kind of cater it to the parents' needs individually. Mm -hmm. um, and this is this is the one thing I like about AI is it's it's advancing technology and a lot of people are scared of it and that's completely understandable because mm -hmm. you think new it's right that doesn't come around that often but I just see it as a tool that you can use to your advantage as a photographer to make your work better mm -hmm. and I think there's so many things that you still have to learn in order to be able to do new bar photography, such as pause and takes years to, to learn, right. sorry, lighting, um, the camera angles, camera focus, mm -hmm. settings. You've still got to learn all of that and know right. all of that. So for me, I don't find it any different to putting a photo in the Photoshop yeah. and extending the background or painting the background to a different colour, because therefore you're still changing the image. Uh-huh. And um, this is just a new way of doing sure. it, essentially. Well, show, us some, show us some of the other things that you like, some other pictures that you're working on. And know, I know there were some that you sent this morning that actually, uh, instead of changing the backdrop, you were actually changing what was under the baby. Like instead of like a just a solid, you know, fabric or in the basket, you had like different. But go ahead. Um, and yeah. someone asked. Someone asked. So when you open your Photoshop, the beta ability is there. No, that is not true. Um, you have to download the Facebook beta version. So she does cover that at the beginning. So once I put up the replay, you can go back and watch that. Yeah, so at the top here, you can see it says Adobe Photoshop um, beta. So that's the one that we'd go for. So I'll Perfect. select subject on this again. Generative. Oh, I'll just go back and invert that. And then generative fill. And then so for this one, I would type in. What are you typing? I'm just typing in newborn photography. And, and then just spawning with that and just seeing what it comes up with first of all. And then I can change it as and when needed. I'm going to ask you to repeat what you typed in because you dropped out for a quick second. What words did you type in? It was newborn, photo newborn photography. Um, backdrop and prop. Backdrop and prop. Okay, newborn photography, backdrop and prop. Okay. Yeah. So that's what it's giving you so far. Yeah, so it's giving me this, this, and this. Um, so what I'll do now, i ask it, see what comes up there, and then. And again, if, you've, if you're joining us late, if you have questions, you can just drop them in the chat and I will ask her along the way. And then again, if I regenerate it again, it'll come up with different ones as well.
So some of them, even if you feel like something doesn't look right. So, for example, just quickly. So if you didn't think that the body shape looked a bit right or it cropped it out a little bit, I'd go on a layer and then I'd go on a flattened image. Um, and that takes back to its original form. Because you are in Photoshop, you do have the options to do other stuff as well. Um, so just go into Filter, Liquify. And then you've got the ability to manipulate body slightly tell us what you're doing and um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just using the liquify tool in Photoshop um, and this is because with the generator fill this is in the Photoshop um, beta so it's still using Adobe Photoshop so when this comes out the AI feature comes out it will be going into Photoshop uh -huh. um, so you can also use once you've done the generative fill on it you can then go in to use your other tools such as filter liquify which just means that you can manipulate the shapes and stuff of the body mm -hmm. so for this one I've took the little head bit down so I'll just so if I undo that, you'll see what I mean, and then we'll redo it. And you can just form the shape again just to make it sort of look more realistic. I see. You can also add any more shadows in. Uh -huh. but I think the good thing about the AI on this Photoshop as well is that from your original image. It will take any shadows or any lights and match it up. Oh, ready? So, I'll just quickly. You have to access it from um, Adobe. You have to go to Adobe, and it's in beta apps for um, um, Adobe. What do you call it? Creative. It's um, Adobe Creative Cloud. Adobe and Creative Cloud. And then you need to look for the beta app. And I've got someone asking, do you select with lasso? Do you select what you want kept or what you want replaced? Um, so what I'd usually do is if I go straight to the bottom, so I'll just flatten this again to show. So if I go to select subject, um, and then invert. Invert. And then that selects your subject for you. Or, or you can use the select subject and select a mask and select exactly what you want to select. Um, or you can just use the select subject where it will do it for you. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Gotcha. Um, it just means that going into select a mask to then try and rectify it and just get it the way sort of you want but a lot of the times it is really good and it does pick up on the subject quite well so it's just about going into it and trying to mm -hmm. work out the best ways to do it really got it and we need a little clarification here someone asks when you use this are you you're do you have like two versions of photoshop on your computer your regular version and the beta or when you download the app it puts all of this in the Photoshop that you already have. No, so there is two different ones because it's the beta version. Then what? Then what it means is because it's still going under trial. Mm -hmm. So once it is released, I assume that it will be going into the original Photoshop. Okay, but for now, you've got just it's a completely separate Photoshop program on your computer. Yeah, so this okay. is the normal Photoshop at the bottom, um, okay. and then this is the one at the side of it. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Well, does anybody else have any questions? Is there anything else that you wanted to show us here, Chelsea? 
Um, so it was just about with this one as well, not only can you get like the prop baskets, you can also change the backdrops as well. So if you're not quite happy with the backdrop that you originally had, uh -huh. um, you can change the backdrop that you've got. So if I type in there, newborn photography cream backdrop, we'll see what that brings up. So someone said, when I mask, I no longer have the option to type in my AI idea. Am I missing a step? Um, let me just quickly have a look. So usually what will happen is in this little bar at the bottom, once you've clicked your select subject, then invert, you should already have, you should automatically have the generate fill. If you've then got to go to select and you've got to go to select a mask and um, to do it properly, it should still be there. Um, I don't think I've come across that problem as of yet. Okay, someone just said you have to mask through the bar at the bottom. Yeah, that's this is the bar that the bar at the bottom. Okay, yeah. I hope that answers your question. But if it's if it doesn't, just ask me another question and I'll relay it. Okay, so I'm sorry, Chelsea. That Im that image that you have there, like, is that the original background that you used right there? Or have you already changed it? It's not. So this is the one that's changed. Okay, I understand. Very good. So if you're not happy with like the original backdrop that you've got, you can mm -hmm. change. And what it usually does as well is it does tend to try and stick to the color tone that is original on the original image. So if I was to try, we'll try this one. It's a bit more difficult. Okay. We'll see what we we'll see what happens with this one. We'll see where we go. So for example, for this one, I'll show you how I do it. So for this one, it's selected this bit as well, which I don't necessarily need. See where mm. I want to see how well it's. Then go into invert again, click generative fill, newborn. I'll just type into it simple again newborn photography. Newborn photography backdrop. And then click generate. So this one, this is one of the kind of ones that you don't want. So, yeah. let me just... so it can do stuff like this sometimes. So it's just a roll of the dice what you're going to get. It really is, yeah. So yeah. it depends on how sort of hard the image is. Yeah. Um, let me just, I'll try and generate it again and see what it comes up with. Sure. And someone said... She she was trying to use it herself and she said, so I went under image. I chose select subject, then mask. Now I have the gray squared background with my baby and nowhere to type the AI directions. Um so the AI direct the AI direction should be all on the right hand side. All on the right hand side. So just over here with your variations underneath. 
Mm -hmm. In the beta version of Photoshop. Correct, yeah. Okay. So for these ones, this one's kind of give a little bit of different. Um, so what I could do on this one, I'll just do I'll just do another generate just to try and I'll also do a prop version as well because they tend to work out quite nice. Sure. And regarding that one where you the person who asked um, about the gray squared background and they have nowhere to type the AI direction, someone else has just responded and said, if it doesn't offer generate feel, generate fill, you are not in the beta version. So you might just be in your regular Photoshop. Um, and someone also offered, uh, said, try restarting your computer and opening the beta version again. Yeah, so normally because it's a completely separate app, um, yeah. it, it, it'd be completely different and how it works. And you always tell because the original Photoshop is a dark blue and a lighter blue. Whereas mm. the beta version is a white background with the light blue. Gotcha. Okay. So you can tell the difference. So for these ones, see for this one, it's wow. Yeah, <laughs> it's added, it's added an extra arm. So that's um, that's crazy. But All right. So I, I think beta is not quite like there's some beautiful stuff you can make, but it's just a roll of the dice. Yeah, completely. Um, it's also about so. Say for this one, it's not perfect. You've got the little choosing mm -hmm. tools that you've got as well um, to just try and perfect it in a sort of way where. So if that wasn't working because it's taken over, I'd then try and go into select subject again. And any last questions that anybody wants to drop in while she's uh, while she's editing this image here? What are you doing right now? I don't really understand what you're doing. Um, so what I was doing is I was just looking at this image directly and I was just looking at ways in which I can just make it look better, make it look more lifelike by using the other tools that are in Photoshop as well mm -hmm. to help pull it all together. But now what I'm doing is I'm just going back into it, type a newborn photography backdrop. So you're just still trying to find something that might look good. Yeah. So yeah. this one, um, mm -hmm. type in prop so I'll see what that comes up with. So do you find that I you do you find that some images just work better for AI generation than others? Yeah definitely. Which ones which ones do you find make work better? Um so head on hands tends to be a good one. Um and it all depends really on the selection and how mm -hmm. how that works. Um so for example this is a nice one mm -hmm. from what I'd say um this one can also be perfected. So I'll show you with this one. So this is a side lane one. I mean, because it's quite a clean image, it'll work a lot better. So I'll go into this one. I'm going to select subject. Invert generative film. Really simple. New bomb photography backdrop again. You're welcome, by the way. Somebody just left. She, the one who was having uh, problems. I don't have like we're in, we're streaming this not in. I mean, it's in Facebook, but we're using an app called Streamyard to stream into a couple different groups and places, and so I can't see the names of anybody who who um who. He puts a chat or puts a comment in the chat. So sorry for being so impersonal with everyone. It's probably like a half. I know half the people here who are chatting, but I can't see your names in StreamYard. So anyway, she just figured it out and she just wanted to thank you for that. So I want to pass that along.
what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just trying to regenerate just to try and get the right mm-hmm. the right one because I know uh, like for example that that gives a totally new backdrop and then I'll put on top for this one but it is highly like doubtful that you will get the same the same thing twice on different images it is again uh-huh. dice. So, so if someone sees something and they're like oh i love that picture and you're like oh, that's great i can't recreate this but you know yeah that that is the only that is the like the only downside about it really is that you wouldn't yeah i would imagine and, as they as they perfect this and they get through the beta testing of it they're going to have like really specific like you're going to have a whole thing of backdrops to choose from like all different categories like floral and I imagine it's going to be pretty darn rich when they're done with it. Someone said, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Type in puddle. Type in puddle. puddle. So I'm interested to see what that's going to bring, but we'll let this play out here. Is that puddle? P-U-D-D-L-E, like a, a puddle. Oh, yeah. right now. It's all about really at this stage as well of it having fun and just trialing it. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it is quite fun. I could spend all day on it just seeing the different things that come up. And then yeah. some of the stuff does make you laugh as well. Because Right. I've seen a few that are like, oh, my goodness. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it looks like he's bathing in a cup of coffee. Oh, is that what puddle is? Yeah, that's like, puddle. Now, I don't know if, if we're getting uh, the same results that um, that the uh, user, the, the commenter was getting, but these are really interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure any of them would be anything anyone would want, but um, but they're kind of fun to look at. I'm so type it in hammy. See what. Oh, there you go. So again, you, none of these you wouldn't really use, but. No. I think, for example, this one I quite like. Do quite like that one as well. Mm-hmm. I liked your original best. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Well, it's all great. About- well, um, it looks like there aren't any more questions, so I. I um, I'm just going to say thank you so much. Hey, everyone, I am I am going to put – I've put it already in there in the link, but I'm going to put it in there again. I'm going to put uh, put the link to Chelsea's website. And let me go back over here. There's the link to her website. If you want to watch the replay, if you caught this late and you just need to watch it again or whatever, here's – it's going to be um, – it's going to be up on my YouTube channel – uh, probably later today. It might be tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to stop the screen share and I'm going to stop the screen share. And I'm just going to say, whoops. Thank you so much, Chelsea. And there are some others who are thanking you as well in the comments. So I appreciate you taking some time out of your day. I know it's probably almost bedtime where you are, but, um, thank you so much for like scrambling and, um, and just taking some time to uh, share your knowledge. Guys, go check out our website. And um, if you're over, if you're over in the UK and you need a mentor or you want to go to a workshop, uh, get with Chelsea because she teaches what she knows and she knows a lot. So definitely check her out. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you, Chelsea. We'll see you again in the Prosperous Photographer because um, you, you've got a lot of knowledge to share. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like this video, leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.